Hi friends, it's time for a haul. Good morning friends, I hope you're all well. Today was a bit of a stressful day because um, I had no milk. So, and I'm going to the shop later, so I didn't really want to go to the shop now, come back and then go again. So it means that I didn't really have anything for coffee this morning and I was kind of upset about it. So instead of having tea or coffee, we are having iced water right now. Yeah, so I'm not that upset about it, but you know, I'm going soon to town because I have to bring both Oscar and Lola into the vet because Oscar, Oscar, I've got to check out his bladder, see if he's got any problems with it. Although he seems to be okay now, but he, I think he had a couple of accidents, which is very, very unlike him. Um, I mean, I can't prove it. It could have been Ellie, but at the same time, I don't know why. I just get this feeling that it was Oscar. So I wanted to get him checked out because he has he's on medication and maybe that could be interfering in some sort of way. Um, so I'm getting him checked out. He did get checked out about six weeks ago maybe and everything came back perfect so we're delighted about that got the blood test and everything came back perfect there was no damage to liver or kidneys or any other things like that due to the medication sorry i got cut off there but i think what i was trying to say is that um basically i just want to get him checked out just make sure everything is okay i also need to pick up some pill assist which you will have seen in my last video so that was what's in my dog's go bag um if you haven't seen that i'm gonna link it up here and down below and um yeah i also have to pick up some dog food for ellie because she's about to run out um i'm not really sure what i'm gonna put her on because she was on like a poppy kind of food or a younger food and now i think she's gonna go into maybe medium dog possibly royal cannon the other two are on royal cannon so i'm not really sure but i'll go when i go in there i'll kind of have a look and, and see um, Lola then has been having a lot of issues with her gums. Um, she gets like reoccurring gingivitis, which is very strange because she's so young. She's also um, like two months ago, probably even less. She actually had a complete teeth clean. Um, and this is like her third time now getting it. So it's very unusual that she would even get it back once she's had everything cleaned. Like her teeth weren't even that dirty in the first place because she's only four um but yeah so it's very unusual she also gets a lot of like utis and things so we think she has some sort of autoimmune deficiency kind of thing that she was born with she was tested for fiv she doesn't have that she's been tested for loads of things i mean we've been in and out with these two animals um of the vet i mean so she's like by right both of them are really healthy but um they just have some issues that we have to double check on i probably wouldn't be as um overly worried about oscar if he didn't have his heart condition he wasn't on so many medication um but yeah you can never be too careful so they're both going in today which means i can go to the um shop as well and it means i can get some milk um because we're running out of a couple of things just some basics um so yeah then i'll get my coffee um, i might even treat myself to a coffee in town but right now we are going with the iced water to be honest it's probably good for me it's probably what i need so this is a collective haul um you will actually uh kind of see the come shop with me um version or be able to come with me and have a look when um, my next video comes up and that is a vlog of what we did that day and one of the things we did was go shopping for some of this stuff now some of this it was not included in that um but i would say kind of the majority of the stuff i'm going to show you is included in that so yeah i think i'll stop uh, rambling right now and let's get into the video okay so i think i'm going to go kind of in order that i got them possibly so yeah, let's run with that. So as this is a autumn haul, um, I wanted to get things that were autumn style, autumn related, or things that I might need for the autumn time. So the first thing I got was this uh, Smart Choice waterproof car seat cover. And that is because my dogs get so muddy and so messy and then destroy my car. So I had one of these before. It did get destroyed, I don't know, like last 
winter coming into spring I guess and because the weather was getting warmer I got kind of lazy I have no cover in my car I did have a blanket down that got kind of knocked off sometimes I put towels in but to be quite honest I need to clean my car and I need to put this onto it um, because in autumn winter there is no saving it in the summertime I'll get away with it in autumn winter not at all so I picked this up to be honest I should have kept um, the receipt for the price but I didn't so I'm gonna guess it was about $8.99 that, that's my prediction next thing I got is going to make sense if you watched my recent what my dogs wear um, video so I'll leave a link here and down below but it was a um, all the clothes all the coats that my dogs wear now in that video I did say I like my dogs to match and that is true if you've been watching any of my hauls or any of my videos you will know I like my dogs to match and it's not like they have to wear the exact same thing but it's like the exact same style but maybe a different color that kind of thing anyway one of the uh, coats in there I got for Oscar before we got Ellie um and he hasn't worn it yet but i do plan on putting it on him this winter and i found a matching version for ellie so now they can be matching and it just makes me happy so this is like navy blue it is from aldi as well this is from their pet collection but it was not a recent one it was like one before and they had some leftovers so i think i got this for like $5.99 or $4.99 something like that when usually they're a bit more expensive and this has the two pockets this matches the grey kind of tweed one that I have for Oscar and then behind here this is a fleecy material it has the kind of tie here and it has the little fur hood as well I might actually have the for them when we go abroad um, in the winter time because it's going to be much colder possibly over there in the other countries than it would be here in Ireland so I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet and I know I'm being kind of a little spoilery or teasy maybe um but I don't want to reveal everything just yet but upcoming there will be a lot of fun adventures coming our way water break hmm. good water so I just took everything out of the little bag that I had um so the first one is if you Oh God, this would have to be a little bit um, <laughs> all out of whack. But if you um, watch my next video, which is going to be the haul, you will see them uh, wearing these because, you know, it didn't seem like a good idea. I just keep them in the bag when we could actually use them for our adventures. But I picked up two harnesses. So I think in the last, in the um, what's in my bag video, yeah, so in that video I said I needed to get a new harness for them because the harnesses I had, they slipped out of them too easy. So this is for Ellie, this um, this is the top part and this goes around her belly and then it just clips on here. Um, so I got one for Ellie and of course I got one for Oscar. So this is the red one. Oh, clip this on here. This is the red one and this is like a bit more secure for them because we're going to be going on a lot of adventures and things and the other ones just weren't secure at all. So these are the two that I got, um, one for Ellie and one for Oscar and they were $9.99 each in the um, pet event. Okay, so the next thing I got were completely unnecessary, um, but I just really wanted to, so I'm okay with it. So <laughs> I like to get Oscar and now Ellie different kind of collars and leads for different seasons and I know it's completely unnecessary and extra and over the top but I just enjoy it so Oscar has the collar that he came with um as a rescue well he didn't come with that he never had the collar but like the rescue gave him that collar and then we were able to keep him and get the dog so he's got that one he's actually currently wearing that one because he got out of the other one and i put that one on him and i just got lazy but uh he also has a christmas collar which is like red with a lot of stars and it's very pretty and then he's got the green one which i love as well which we got up north when we were traveling um so that was been his kind of uh spring and summer collar we'll say and now it's autumn time so he needs an autumn collar so i picked him up this one how cute is this it's so cute and has the little like 
bone tags on them. And it has one on this one as well. Um, I probably should take it out, but it's like this tweed kind of effect. And then it's got silver buckles or hardware on it. And then it's got a bit of um, what I hope is fake leather um, there as well. But it doesn't say it's real. And to be honest with the price, I doubt it would be real leather. Um, so this was $8.99. And of course, I had to get one for Ellie. So this is like a pink purple version of it. Um, and it's really cute. And it has the same silver hardware, the same little bone tags and the same leather uh thing as well actually i do need to get ellie um an engraved tag i still haven't got one for her i'm so lazy like well not really i suppose um because we got her and then my shoulder went out and i had shoulder injury so things got put in the back burner so yeah i really need to get her her tag and then because i just couldn't resist i got my mom's dog who is a belgian malinois uh, one as well um, because uh, he's of my family too so I got him this one so he got a bigger version because he's about at least twice the size of my dogs um, and how cute is this so this is like green like plaid kind of style it's got the silver hardware and then it's got the little leather as well and I just think for the autumn time it's so cute and they were all $8.99 each now, so the next one is kind of autumn style uh, treats, which I couldn't resist, even though they were quite expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so this is the first one. There are, they are very big. So this is the first one. This was actually, well, actually it was only like eight euros. So it wasn't that expensive, I guess. Um, and it is 750 grams. So that's this one and in this there is turkey with pumpkin seeds, turmeric and cinnamon, 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 that's what I was going to say, cinnamon, um, with flavoured cranberries. Uh, so yeah, we got the cranberries, we got the pumpkin, we got the turmeric, we got the cinnamon and yeah, it's just really uh, autumn-y I think for this time of year. Cinnamon. It is cinnamon. Okay, so the next one <laughs> is a 1kg and this, oh, I never said, so they're both like Ro Irish Rover Select and this is superfoods for dogs and it's made without corn or soya and then it says like what all the different ingredients do. So it says like the pumpkin seeds natural source of fatty acids and support healthy digest digestive tract, cranberries high in natural antioxidants and turmeric helps support maintenance of healthy joints, which it does in humans as well. So basically it just helps out with that. And then on the back it says your kind of feeding guidelines and stuff in it. And um, as you know, Oscar um, has a heart condition, so we have to be careful in what he eats. Not much sugar, not much fat, not much salt, that kind of stuff. So I try to go a healthier route when and where I can. And then this is the other one I picked up. So this is Irish Rover Select Superfood for Dogs. And it's chicken treats with sweet potato, carrot and pumpkin. Um, made without grain or soya, minimally processed, limited ingredients. And it says no artificial colours or flavours made with love in Ireland. Um... So that's that, and again, it's a huge bag. Um, it's hundred one kg, I should say, and yeah. So what I've kind of decided to do as well is, um, I'm going to take some of them out, put them in a little bag, and share them with Levi as well. Um, my mom's Malinois, so give him a little pack of treats too. So that is everything that I picked up from Aldi and the car cover was from Mr. Price as well. But um, I do want to show you a couple of things that I actually picked up from the charity shop or a thrift store, whatever you like to call it. And these, I just picked them up to be honest. I thought, oh, they'll make good background kind of props if nothing else but I actually think it's really cute so I picked up this book and it's called The Well-Mannered Dog 
and it says from dealing with cats to staying in hotels a total guide to good manners and i just thought that was really cute um you know i mean with things like dog care and stuff like that obviously things have evolved evolved through the years and some techniques that people would use in the past you wouldn't use now and vice versa um and this is an older book so this is uh from 1999 which is pretty cool um which is kind of what drew me to it that it was kind of like an older box so i really really like this um but yeah with books that are older obviously you read them and you kind of read them for enjoyment and you might get a few tips out of it but you know not everything will still stand today you know 23 years later or so maybe it won't stand uh the test of time but some of them definitely will and i'm looking forward to having a little look at this Another one I found um, is also a book and it's kind of along the same premise. So when I was younger, I used to love watching It's Me or the Dog. And this is her book um, from Victoria Stilwell. And it's just all about, you know, it says the guide to having the perfect dog. But like a lot of it in here is kind of like, I would say basics. It's not even on training. It's just like, you know, talking about like for here, here for example, explaining dog sounds. So, so growling, whimpering, yelping, uh, whining, snarling, howling, jumping, groaning, barking. So it's just all the different sounds that basically dogs make and kind of why they make them. Um, and then like there are some like how to teach your dog some commands, but a lot of it is kind of, I would say fairly general, like, or how to teach your dog to heal. So, yeah i mean this is looks like it's an older book as well um i might be wrong this book is from i have no idea 2005 2005 so it is a little bit older again techniques i mean a lot of them stand the test of time but you know not everything does so yeah it'd be fun just to have a little read through and see what's in this but I thought they'd be really cute in the background as well wouldn't they hi friends I'm just gonna take a minute to interrupt past me um because I am now back from town um so I felt like a little bit disheveled that's why so yeah considering I hadn't really finished this video I thought you know what why not give you an update and let you know how we got on today so first of all I got my milk and I got my coffee so I'm happy about that so that is the first thing to report and how cute is this mug this mug was given to me by Joe and it just says love you tons and it's two little elephants which is really really cute it's probably around Valentine's Day or anniversary or something um, but it's really cute next is i did go to aldi obviously um and i picked up some shopping and different things and i picked up these so i didn't see these the first time i went in so i don't know if they were put out after but to be honest i did do a video when i was there so i'll know <laughs> maybe i just didn't see them but the reason that these were so interesting was for two reasons actually. One is because it says there, I don't know if you can read it, absolutely no raw hide. So, I mean, we all know raw hide isn't the greatest thing to give to your dogs for a number of reasons. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, interesting. And the second is it's Rosewood. So Rosewood is a brand that we got a, a toy from um in our buster box which is a subscription i get for the dogs and in it was this bone hard chew toy and it was rosewood and it was such good quality and it still lasts him today and honestly like he gets goes through toys so quickly that's why i was even saying there's no point in getting him certain toys because he'll just tear right through it and like the enjoyment level is about 30 minutes worth not even so when i saw that this was rosewood i was like hmm that's uh that's from that brand that we got that tr toy from um with the buster box so i picked up these there's two in here and it says made with real chicken beef and vegetables and 
it just says delicious, healthy, and digestible. And then it gives you like a feeding guide and it tells you in the back with there. So I actually have three of these. Um, so two are from my own dogs and then one is for Levi as well. I never can resist picking him up things too. Um, another thing, totally unrelated, but I just wanted to point it out, is I got these. Well, I say these, they're both the same thing. Um, but it's this colour, the tarot, and it's, uh, oh, they have also available colour, the Zodiac, I would have liked that one. And it's just an adult colouring book, but it's all based on like tarot cards and things like that. And I thought that was really interesting. So I got one for my friend, um, because it was her birthday recently. And I got one for me too, because uh, I wanted one. So yeah, we went to the vet as well, and it's all good concerning Oscar anyway. So um. He seems to be doing okay. We they did a checkup. Everything's fine. Um, his weight is fantastic. It's right where it needs to be, which is amazing because we um needed him to reduce a little bit of weight when we found out he had a heart problem because any extra weight, um, kind of contributes to uh, uh, not suffering but like it contributes um to any harm that might be caused by it. You know what I'm trying to say. It's it's not good. Um, Lola, unfortunately, is a bit more of an ongoing problem with her health. Um, she, if I didn't mention this earlier, Lola is actually our cat. Um, she We brought her in because she's still on tablets for her gums for her gingivitis. She does this thing where she grinds her teeth, which is a very unpleasant sound. Um, but like I said, her teeth been cleaned, everything like that. So we brought her back in. Unfortunately, her gums still seem to be slightly inflamed, even though she's been on the tablets for two weeks. So it looks like it's going to be more of an ongoing thing with her. So she's staying on the tablets. Um, and she'll be back in for a checkup next week. So I will let you know updates on that on Instagram. So yeah, that is me done uh, officially. I think so. Um, my plan for the evening is to drink my coffee, um, I treat myself to some chocolate, I thought this uh, looked really nice, and I'm going to be editing videos, and also I finished my book this morning, so I'm so excited about that. No, it is not completely finished, it has to be edited and all that kind of stuff, but the manuscript or the writing part, it's all done as of this morning so excited like could not be more excited about this uh so yeah i think i talk a little bit about it in my lover dogs video which will be linked um but if not there'll be a lot more coming soon all about that i'm super excited um but yeah i'm gonna let past me uh finish out this video so so yeah, that is my autumn haul for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I love filming hauls. I love watching hauls. I mean, who doesn't like a good haul? But uh, yeah, like I said, in the next video, you're gonna see me do a little bit of the shopping. You're also gonna see what the, the other things that were in the store as well, because there were some really cute toys, especially these like popcorn kind of type toys. Uh, yeah, and there was like other toys as well, but um i decided not to pick them up although i am going back into town today so i might pick up one we'll see um if we do it'll probably be in the next uh vlog video or um you, i'll put it on instagram anyway so uh if you want to check that out make sure you're following us on instagram you can also check out the facebook group and the website as well um but yeah i think if I do pick up another one, maybe it'll go there. But I won't pick up the popcorn one because I think it looks a bit too flimsy for my dogs. I mean, Oscar would destroy it in about 30 seconds. So it would just be absolutely pointless for us. But if you had a smaller dog, I would 100% get it because it's so cute. Um, yeah, so that is everything. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more content from me in the very near future, uh, then please subscribe as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you very soon. Bye!